Hello there, in this video I'll be showing you how to create security cameras in Unity. Most of the work will be in a 3D program and I'm using 3ds Max, you could use whatever you want. Uh, it's exactly the same workflow. Uh, we'll be using a render to texture feature here. So we have to properly unwrap our display device. In this case I have a curved TV here. So what I basically did was after modeling, I chose the faces. I wanted, uh, that's just the screen, and then applied a UV texture. So this is it right here. So uh, what, all you have to do is basically just make sure the whole texture fits on the screen you want because we're using a uh, uh, material here and it's gonna use a texture. So you have to make sure everything fits the screen. So this is uh, basically what's on here All right so I applied a UV map I set it to box I should have said it set it to face but doesn't matter oh, box box helps and then I used fit I just aligned it so it just stays there instead of a different parameter so instead of stretching out like that so fit just puts everything in place okay and uh, I did, I selected a different material, named it screen, applied it, control I to select the other polygons and applied a different material, TV mat. I did export that and I'll bring it into Unity. All right, so that's there in Unity. I just dragged TV onto a scene. It's just quite a big spell. A few inches here. Go ahead, rotate. Just live in the air. All right, so we have our TV. Now we need to create a camera. Create camera. I'll name this Cam One because in the next example, even more complex, we'll have about four cameras. All right, so we could see this camera preview here. I'll just move back and then move it back. What I would I would usually do is get my camera game object, say this. Maybe just bring it in here and parent this camera, where is it? Uh, uh, okay, so what you just do is just grab your camera and parent it under this one somehow. I think that's just too deep in my project. I can't really find it. So security camera, let's just break it out. All right, and attach this camera underneath. So you could just move this around and it's gonna move the camera. You could create prefabs and all that, but all right, I just wanted to show you that, that example. All right, so we'll just leave that right there. What we need to do next is right click, create a render texture. I'll name this cam one. I'll give it a size of about 512, 512, okay. Anti-aliasing, maybe two samples, make it better. You could always play with this, make it better. And then I'll right click, create material. Then I'll just name it cam one and I'll apply this albedo here. Okay, that's the texture. And then I'll select this and remember we named our materials, right? So we'll just go to screen uh, swap this out so we now have that and we have to select the camera that's underneath this one so cam one there's a target texture here we'll just drag this texture and plug it in here all right so you see that we have a beautiful display and even in play mode we could move things around in front of the camera and it updates see that great and 
it looks a bit pixelated so you could always change this maybe 2014 by 2014 you can always make it better all right so we could see our textures properly placed so, all right so let's do a more complex example let's say we want it to display four cameras at once what I'll do here is go here and just kind of divide this kind of split this into four select those edges there actually just go back just make this a different TV actually no, no. same TV doesn't matter all right just connect that connect and now we have about four equal parts so select polygons select this three apply this material just to check it out you see it's not quite even so if we applied our camera texture we would just get like half of it and we would uh, it wouldn't be nice so I'll apply UV map same box fit that looks good uh, this one and then okay convert to editable poly maybe select faces again select this one apply this a UV map box fit same thing I'll just go around and do all all right so now we have our textures all aligned okay we now have all of them we need to create uh, different materials too so we have a uh, Let's say we need to change this to maybe cam one. Select those polygons and apply cam one. Select create cam two. Select this polygons. Oops, don't move it. And apply cam two. That's just so it creates different material slots so we could change it in the editor. Cam three. And assign it for and assign it. Okay. Go ahead and export this. Import in Unity. Alright, just delete that one, bring in the new TV, rotate, move it, turn it, maybe scale it down a bit. Alright, so you notice we have different materials here. So I'll just go ahead and create different cameras, just, just different angles here. Move, duplicate. And move it somewhere else. Somewhere else. So that's cam two. All right. So I'll just do about two or three. You you get the idea. So this is the first material. I'll just apply this render to texture to cam one. All right. So we could see it there and go ahead and create a different render to texture or actually just duplicate this one Control d cam 2 and just place it under this one so cam 2 place cam 2 cam 1 place cam 1 but it's just not showing up. All right, so cam one, cam two. All right, so that's basically how you would do it and display up to four cameras at once. Uh, so I, I don't want to spend time creating different materials 
render to texture, but I'll, I'll just go ahead and put this one and put this one in here. Or... Yeah, so you see it looks good for different cameras and one TV. You could move things around, it's gonna update. And uh... all right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.